Don't you just love a nice pair of easy, breezy, flowy pants? Well, I definitely do, and it's been hotter than a mug out there. So let me tell you about the pants I made. I'm Madi with Madi Sews and welcome back. So as you know, I made a pair of pants. And to be honest, I made them a while ago and I have been wearing the heck out of them. The pattern that I used for my new pants is actually this cashmere at Calder pants. And I used the, I made this version right here, which is like the mid calf cropped pants. And I used some really, really amazing fabric that I picked up from D&H Fabric Company. I'll put a link to them below. They're um, located out in Virginia, but they carry some really, some really nice, amazing quality fabrics. And a lot of them are like sustainable fabrics, which is this one. Um, so this is a one of the crepes that she had. It is a sustainable fabric, so I felt good picking this up. And honestly, the reason why I decided to make the crop length is because I wanted to use this fabric, but I only had two yards of it. So I went ahead and made the crop length. So, uh, listen, I know, I know that I'm not original, but I liked these pants. I liked that color. I had something like that in my stash. And so, well, I made it. So let me tell you about a couple of the things that I really like about the Calder pants and cashmere patterns. For starters, you have the option to make either the pear shape pants or the apple shaped ones. So depending on how your body is shaped, you can pretty much go with it and run. Her instructions are amazing. They're really good. Great pictures. And, well, when it comes to the Calder pants in particular, um, what I liked is how flat these pockets actually lay against my body. I can move around in it and there's no puckering in the pockets, which is really good. Um, the side seam on these pants is a little more forward so it's not quite down the side of your pants so that's something to keep in mind also although there's a flat front it is an elasticated back with quite a wide elastic so just keep that in mind um i'm typically not a fan of elastic waists or yeah typically not but because this one had a flat front and I just knew it was going to be an easy sew and something that I could just throw on, I went with it. And quite honestly, I'm happy that I did because these are really nice. Let me tell you, I wear these pants as much as I possibly can. And quite honestly, I probably wear them and do things in it that I should, I should be wearing some play clothing to do, right? <laughs> I was out doing some work on my back deck one day. I lost my balance and I fell into my window. You all, I fell into the window of my garage. Now, I didn't fall through it, thankfully, but broke the glass all up and a piece of the glass punctured my pants. Now, I, I was, okay, look, I, I was disappointed that I broke the freaking window to the garage, but my feelings were seriously hurt that I damaged my pants. <laughs> I accidentally popped a hole right into my pants. Let me, f I'm gonna find it for you. Hang on one second. Do, 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 do. Okay. So it's a little tiny hole, but there it is. I hope you can see it. it um. I almost cried because <laughs> I love these pants so much and I'll be honest the fabric wasn't it wasn't it wasn't cheap you all but what I went ahead and did was I just cut a little piece of interfacing and I <laughs> ironed it on to the wrong side so that way the hole didn't grow any bigger it's quite small and I don't think anyone's really gonna notice it 
Um, let me show you how I ended up fixing it. See, I just cut a little tiny piece and ironed the glue side right on down and I think it came out fine. It's barely noticeable when it's on and hopefully it doesn't grow anymore. I think these pants are a win and I'm considering making the shorts version in like a chambray linen with a little cute matching top. I think that'll be so nice, especially right now when it's like 90 to 100 degrees outside and crazy humidity. Yeah, so these pants have actually been strong in my rotation lately and now that they're freshly laundered i'm looking forward to putting them right on and hanging out with the kid well thanks for joining me today and if you haven't already please hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing so that way you know when my next video is posted well until then i hope you have a wonderful day bye